So if you sell products online using WooCommerce, this video is for you because I'm going to be talking about what I call smart WooCommerce store. Now, what do I mean by this? So let's say you have customers, they come to your website, buy a product. Ideally, you want an email to be sent automatically to welcome them or even thank them for buying the product. And then over a specified time, also get some emails with perhaps some offers or a discount. But we also want to have a system where if someone refunds a product, they also get an email and we also remove that person from our emails and also remove that person from our website. So I'm going to be showing you step by step how to set this up in this WooCommerce tutorial. So before we get started, I'd like to remind you that for this tutorial, I'll be using Fluent CRM and Fluent CRM is our automation machine. This has a 20% discount if you buy it using my affiliate link. So let's Let's go ahead, set it up, and let me show you how to make this all work together. Okay, so let's head over to our website and set everything up. So over here, I am on my WordPress website. I'm going to install WooCommerce. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. Now, I've already gone ahead and installed WooCommerce, but in your case, you want to search for it. And here, as you can see, mine says active because I've gone ahead and installed it and activated it. So go ahead and do that. So the next step now is to set up our products. So I'm going to come over here to products, click on add new. So let's give our products a name. So I'm going to call this product A. We're going to give it a bit of a description here. I'm going to give it a price. So let's say this is $3.99. And let's also add a sale price, $2.99. Next, we are going to now add our image. So I'm going to click here on set product image. So this is going to be our first product. I'm going to set my image here. We also have a short description here. I'm going to paste my short description. And then we're going to publish. Excellent. So now we have our product A. The next part now is to go into Fluent CRM and set our products up and also set up our automation. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded and installed Fluent CRM. I've done quite a few videos about this. It's quite straightforward to install. You first install the first free plugin, which is Fluent CRM, and then you install the pro version, which allows us to have all these extra features. Okay, so here is Fluent CRM. I'm going to come over here to the dashboard. So this is what we're going to see. There's nothing really going on here. So as you can see, I only have one subscriber and that is myself. So what we're going to do now is we are going to come over here and create a tag. So I'm going to come over here. Now our tag here is going to be called Bought Product A. So we want that when someone buys Product A, we're able to make some automations based on that. Okay, so let's create our tag. I'm going to click here on create tag and we're going to call this bought product a i'm going to hit confirm now i might as well create another tag because i'm going to add two products here so i'm going to add product b so i'm going to confirm that so those are my tags now what i also want to do is to create a list so i'm going to come over here to lists and i'm going to say create list and this list is for people that bought product a all right so let's name it so I'm going to hit confirm. Okay, so now that we've set up our tags, we've also set up our list. What we need to do next now is to go back to our product so we can apply the tag when someone buys our product. So I'm going to come back over here and uh, we're going to go to products, click on all products. So this should list all my products on my shop. So I'm just going to hit edit. So when I scroll down here, you're going to notice that we have Fluent CRM. So what we need to do here is to click and we want that when someone purchases Fluent CRM, we add a tag. So I'm going to add my tag here and I'm going to say bought product A. So if you have any other tag that you have that you may want to remove, you can just click here on remove tags and you can remove uh, that tag. OK, but for now, we just want to leave this as it is. Now, over here, you can see we have a refund actions. OK, this is also very important because ideally we want a system which then detects that someone has been refunded and we can send an email to follow up with that refund. OK, so I'm going to come back over here. And we're just going to save this for now. Now, as you can see, I'm going back and forth between Fluent CRM and WooCommerce. 
but we are going to sort this out soon. So if you want to go ahead and set up some refunds, all you have to do is to uh, go in and create another tag called uh, refunded product A. So let's just quickly go ahead and do that, okay? Because I was gonna skip that uh, part, but I think it's also very important. Okay, so back over here, I'm gonna go to um, Fluent CRM and we are going to add another tag. So I'm gonna come over here to tags and create a new one. So this one here is going to be called refunded product A. Confirm. Great. So I think everything is in place. We have all the ingredients that we need. Now it's time to create our automation, which is the system that I uh, created over here. So as you can see, the customer comes in, buys the product, and they get a welcome email. And we're also going to send some... Um, some more emails uh, after that with other promotions. And here we're going to get a uh, email sent when they refund uh, that product. Okay, so the next step now is to head over to automations. So automations here is the engine that runs everything that we're going to be doing here. All right, so we're gonna click on create new automation and our automation is going to be based on a um, tag applied or we can even say WooCommerce, okay? So I'm gonna say bot product A. Right, so we want that when a tag is applied, this is what's gonna kickstart our automation. So I'm gonna come over here to tag applied, hit continue. Now let's select our tags. So here you can see bot product A. So we want that when a tag called bot product A is added, then this should happen, okay? This is gonna kickstart our automation. So I'm gonna hit save settings. Great. So what do we want to do here as soon as someone buys that product? Because remember, the tag is added as soon as they buy the product. So we want to send a welcome email. So I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button. So actions here, we can see we have a send custom email. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a uh, email subject. So I'm just going to call this welcome. And over here, I'm just going to say hello at first name. And then I want to add my email body. Okay, great. So I've added my email body here. In fact, we can also add images if we need to add images in here, buttons, call to actions, and so on. So I'm just going to keep things simple. I'm going to save this and save settings. Okay, great. So now when someone buys a product on our site here, they're going to get that welcome email. Okay. Fantastic. So what we're going to do now, you can see here, this is in draft mode. So we can also extend this and say, okay, let's wait after, and let's say wait after a few days. So let's say one day here, save settings. All right, so let's say uh, we say wait one day and we want to send a, uh, a sequence of emails. So I haven't set up my email sequence here, but this is where I would come and select my email sequence. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And uh, once you're happy with this, you can hit that button here to make it live. So things are really going to uh, start to get exciting now because what we're going to do is we are going to now create this refund part. So instead of creating another automation, we can go in right in and use conditional logic. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my automation. So we are now going to add our conditional logic over here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and we are going to say now, where when a, uh, a tag is applied, then we want our automation to work. So let's come over here to our conditions, okay? So this is our conditions. So we want to say it has selected tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. And the tag I'm going to add here. So we're going to say if it has uh, refunded product A, then that's when we're going to make an action, okay? So I'm gonna save settings. So we've sent our welcome email here. So now we're saying if it has uh, refunded, uh, refunded product A, and if the answer is yes, then we're going to send our email. So I'm gonna come over here, send custom email. So this is our refund email, okay? So I'm just gonna call this refund email. I can also add my instructions here on what happens now that they are refunded. Okay, so that looks great. Now I'm going to save settings. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. So. If someone bought, pro, uh, bought product A, okay, here they get a welcome email. And then over here, if they have a tag uh, that has been applied and the tag is a refunded product A, okay, 
this is what happened. The, we are, we're going to send a refund email over here. But if not, what we're going to do now is we are going to add a sequence of emails here. So this will be a better way of uh, actually adding our sequences. So I'm going to click here on set sequence emails. Now, of course, I don't have my uh, sequence email set here. So I'm going to hit save uh, settings. Okay. We can also def uh, decide what you want to uh, add over here. So let's say you want to add uh, perhaps a promotion or a campaign email. You can just uh, add your campaign email over here and you can select it here. I've got a test one. So I'm going to go and select my test email, save settings. Okay. Now moving on. Over here, we can uh, wait a few days and decide what we need to do. So over here, I don't think we really need uh, all this stuff here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into this and delete it. And I might as well delete this one as well. So I'm going to go in and delete it. So this is where our funnel is going to end. So I'm going to click on this plus button and come over here to actions and this funnel here. Excellent. So now I'm going to save settings so we can continue to add more items here if we need to, depending on how things are working. So let's just do a quick recap here. Uh, the person buys product A, they get a custom email sent. Now, if they have uh, product A uh, added uh, here to their name, we are now going to make sure that we remove uh, the tag which is say bought product a so we also want to do that so i'm going to come over here and we need to remove the tag so i'm going to click here so the tag we need to remove is bought product a i'm going to hit save now this whole machine makes a lot of sense because they're going to buy a product get sent an email if uh, they have refunded product a they're going to get a custom email and this is the refunded email. And then over here, we're going to remove the tag which says bought product A. So all we're going to be left with are people that bought our product A and the refunded. So these are totally separated. And this machine is going to be running in the background, making sure that your store is really uh, working hard behind, uh, behind the scenes. Because think about it manually, you will not be able to do this because it's just gonna take you a ton of time to try and work this out. So guys, Go ahead, try this out. In fact, what I may want to do is to start sharing all my uh, email uh, automations. So in the future videos, I'll be uh, sharing more complex email automations. Okay, so once you're happy with the setup, you can just click here on view reports once everything starts working and you'll be able to see uh, all the reporting that is happening on your system. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about uh, this tutorial and how Fluent CRM and WooCommerce work together to create smart online online shops. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.